Hi, my name is Ken Asselson. I wrote the microbiome prescription website, and today I want to take a look at a re very greatly revised page, which is probably far more accurate and meaningful than um, the prior version, and it, it is looking at medical conditions. Now, um, first of all, I should mention that the location of this page is under component analysis medical conditions it won't show up until you set the um, display level appropriately i believe let's just take a second ah uh, nope you have to go to um, intermediate We have to go to advance, which actually makes some sense, um, or at least currently I may drop it back down to a lower level. But um, main reason it is sort of advanced is because to correctly understand it, keyword correctly understand it, requires a fair degree of comprehension as to what is what we're doing and how we're doing it. <coughs> so if you take a sample, I'm going to go over to count of mantra one because with that one you'll see that gives you your range your value which is what percentage you match to the bacteria profiles published on the u.s national library of medicine now now here we are dealing with a lot number of probability issues all wrapped up to make your life simple without having to get into it there's something, a little star shows up over here, which if I click here, I had a few times, I'll get them sorted out. So what the star means is items which potentially there is a significantly increased risk of. Doesn't mean it will happen, but it means you have a higher risk. And that star comes from two things happening. One is your value is above the higher normal. You are at 36.2 and 30 is the higher normal. Second item is percentile in terms of the population you're at. 86.4 means you're in the top 13.6%. Uh, the prevalence is 15%. So there's sort of a, okay, wait a minute. 15% of the population has it, and you are in, in the top 15%. There is increased probability that you indeed may have or may develop this condition if you don't have it already. It means you may want to be a little bit more concerned about it. Um, and then we have things like COVID. The prevalence is a, this one is a bit fuzzy. Um, the, it's 50, 80, 31, suggests that you may have had COVID and may have had the residue of the um, COVID um, infection, but not long COVID. Long COVID is also out there in the set of things. And then we have mood disorder. Prevalence is almost 30%. You're sitting on 95%. There's a good chance you could be having mood issue. Mood disorder is not always diagnosed or always severe enough that people are aware that they would qualify for it. Okay, so that is one sample. Let's go over to a different sample. Um, let's go up to this sample. And uh, again, we double click. And we have only one thing that is a match, which means person is probably reasonably healthy. Let's go over to this one. And here we have, oh boy, we have a ton of mat potential matches. We have a pretty good stack of them. And um, a lot of them are there. What that would actually imply is that there's severe dysfunction that could probably take somebody almost anywhere. And here is a whole bunch of issues. Could have diabetes, obesity, and diabetes tend to run together in a similar pattern. May have gluten sensitivity, may have bone loss, Alzheimer is a risk, uh, sleep issues, PTSD, uh, SIBO, some people have this combination. Whether or not this one matches you, we'll leave that for you to answer. Let's take a look at one more. Again, double click. And we see 
a bunch of things there and a bit of a clustering going on to one more again double click and we see food allergy high blood fats of uh, fatty acid disease high blood fat and fatty acid tends to be similar set of bacteria involved and we do one more and we have GERD and hypersomnia being indicators we have again the, we do have a convergence between fatty liver disease and high blood fats which is in agreement with I believe the usual medical associations of that okay so that's it that is coming soon once I have finished debugging a few other issues and reprocessing a ton of data uh, as in computer been working hard hard for the last couple of weeks so it's there enjoy um it as i said it's improved and the reason it's improved is i make use of the prevalence and i also use range the cut off mold drop ranges in order to say whether wait a minute do we have a double convergence if so this item you should perhaps Get checked for or which you could develop in time if the microbiome is allowed to run wild.